Are speaking as both at the same time? Is it two natures or he speaks uh, the separate nature, like the human nature and then in divine nature? Or is it like both natures at the same time? Someone here on this earth, he, according to you, he claims to be God. So is he speaking as a man or is he speaking as a God? He's both because he's, he's got a, a right. So when he says no one knows the hour, which one he should be that? speaking as a both too. Or he doesn't have to speak. Just you, you take when he. No, why are you, you taking one thing? Or you taking one thing and then you're Peter, applying it to another thing? You are so cherry picking now. You are cherry picking. No, I'm not. But you're cherry picking. You're saying um, because. No, he's saying I am because saying. I am saying. Yeah. Be consistent throughout. So which one is it? Does he split himself sometimes as a man when he speaks? Okay, one understanding when you said um, he uh, does not know, he does not know the hour. One understanding is that that's in a declarative sense when he's saying he does not know the hour. No, it doesn't mean that no, he does not have knowledge. Read the complete verse. Because Again, read you've read, read the, the apologetic material from Christians and that's how you're building up your case. Look, it says no one knows the hour. What does it mean? Not the angel what? in hip. Oh, sorry. From the beginning. Sorry, yeah. From the beginning. No one knows the hour. What does it mean? Give it. It means no one knows. Okay. No one knows, no one knows the then, clarity or no then, one knows? Yeah, but then you have to interpret it in the... Let's start Peter, wait, it's in slowly, slowly, he slowly. Wants, he, wants, he wants to get you... Not he, go he wants to the to fourth point. Dissect it for point. you. Of that day and of that hour, no one knows. What does it mean? No one knows the clarity or no one knows it at all? Um, no one knows. At all. At all. Yeah. So knowledge here means total absence of it. Absolutely. Or yeah. just the clarity. Like you might know actually, but it's not clear when. What is it? So when when he says when when um what was it? of that day of that hour no one no knows. one knows. The, no, that's in the character sense. No, Are you know? sure? No, no, so some the people know. Um. Well, Look, that's not, that's no, not the of that the day, the of that hour. If it's no, 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 you're jumping. I'm not. I'm not jumping because it. Start with the first point. Yeah. No one knows. Now. Is there someone who does know? There are different, there are different um, views on this in Christianity of this verse. So I can are you saying the word things. no is different in this you could, text? I I'm not saying that that is the, that is the perfect interpretation. I'm, I'm not saying there I'm are not different asking, interpretations. I'm not asking for interpretation. Just go, because, just, it's, because it's like... Peter, I'm asking you yeah. to tell me the text. Don't interpret it. Just tell me what it means. In, no, in simple English, it's very simple, simple English. It's simple then English. Simple English. You can go by. Okay, yeah. I need to interpret if I, if because. I, if I, if, yeah, of course, I'd have to interpret it in the um, in the rest of the. Uh, so let's start with the meaning. What does it say in the first place? No one knows. Does that mean someone do know? Clarity or uh, or no, uh, absolutely? I need to look at the Greek. So I've seen that the Greek. When you look at the. But Greek, you talk about the Greek for the other one, but you haven't looked at the Greek for this one. No, okay. I've heard. I've heard that the Greek for this one, it, it's been used by Paul. To, um, no one knows the other. Let's, let's let's sort it out once and for all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you want to in Koine Greek? I mean, it's Koine Greek. I believe that Paul uses the same uses the same terms in um, uh, in the character sense. That's why there's the interpretation that. But, but we're not talking about Paul. Character. We're talking about Jesus yes, here. Yes, I'm talking about the way it's used. No. It can be used in this way. And there's also another interpretation, which is that it's the. It, Before it's you go into interpretation, let's understand. Nature. Let's understand the first yeah, point. Yeah. That will show you how you are apologetic answers are totally inadequate okay so yeah. first time i'm looking at it let's have a look what it says no one knows yeah Oiden. so how many usage of this word is this let's go what we're getting concerning that day no one on that hour, yeah, knows not even angels of the heavens, not the sun, not the sun, if not the father. So, the knowledge claim is about one time used here. Oh, wait, yeah, one time, used. one time. What does it mean? Someone knows, or no one knows? If when you interpret it in the rest of the gospels, you can go and interpret and, them. And, and does the does that it no be, one know, or someone do know? That, that, for example, Paul uses it in the current sense. Peter, Paul Peter, you're going, Peter. No, you're going to Paul. Peter, no, you ask, you ask for it. Fine, used, fine. It's been so, used in the so sense my Paul, question so to you know. is: yeah. Does that mean someone does know? Maybe more than one people know. Maybe twenty people. Maybe one million people know. Well, Jesus would know. So that, that means, and he says, not even the angels. The angels Jesus know. No, Jesus would know in terms of okay. knowledge, not the characters. Let's understand it. What about the angels? Do they know? Uh, the angels would not know. The angels. So how do you get? 
depending on whether you believe that the angels, um, how well in terms of heaven that they're outside space and time, they could have knowledge of it. According to this verse, yeah, do the angels know? In, in declaration, that's why you can interpret it in different ways. I'm Don't be philosophical about do it. Do the angels no, know? It's, it's an important thing. Yeah. So Peter, do the angels Peter, know? Peter, Peter, according to the verse. Do look, the angels know? Ju just, Peter, yeah. sorry, yeah, sorry. Look, I'm older, you have to take me by my, well, the way I see it. Yeah. According to this verse, I want to understand, according to this verse, do the angels know or not? According to the verse. According to, according to just the verse, not. No. no. Okay. okay. How do you get that point that they don't know? From where? It What's says, the clue? It says, it says it in the verse. But it, it says, says it, it, it says no one knows first, and then yes, angels, if you're just looking and then at that the one sun. Verse, yeah, you could, you would understand so that in this you. verse, yeah, we can understand that, that yeah. the only the Father knows. In that verse. Yeah. In that verse. So, so the question I was asking you, then I will let you continue. Yes. Is Jesus self-sufficient and independent? Yeah, but that's why that's why I was saying just in that verse, you'd have to look at the rest of I'm the I'm not Bible. asking you to consider on this verse. Uh, oh, entirety total, of the Bible, entirety, entirety. is Jesus self-sufficient and yeah, independent? Jesus God. Jesus, Jesus God is self-sufficient. No, no, no. Is he self-sufficient? Self Do you know what self-sufficient means? He's not, he's not dependent. On who? Is he dependent on the Father? For his existence. Let, let, let's oh, hear it, sorry, right? sorry. Sure. Is he dependent on the Father? Generated from the father. So no, 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 no. question no, is very no, specific. No, that's not the, no, that's the question, not the question is, is he Peter. Dependent on the father? That's not the question, Peter. L listen. Is he dependent? On is the he father? dependent uh, on the father? Or is he self sufficient? It's either one of the because two. Because self sufficient means he's not dependent on the father. Independent. I'm asking for a clarity now, even though my previous statement well, is. They're both gods, clear. So, so, both gods so look, if I say Jesus is self sufficient, I understand that means that he is not dependent on the father. But I want to clarify to you, from you, if he is self-sufficient, is he independent of the Father? He's, n he's not independent of the Father, no. He's not in then he's not self-sufficient. You can't have it both ways. How, how, how can you have someone because dependent? Because self-sufficient means... They're, they're distinct. They're not, wait, wait. Do you they're... know what self-sufficient means? Independent of everything. He self doesn't need sufficient. anyone. Sufficient by self, not yes, by yes. him, when not by you. Yeah, but when... In our, in our theology, there's different. There's different I'm asking about your persons. theology. Yes, yes, but you're asking, asking me. about the asking meaning about of the term self-sufficient. Yeah, if so this the brother, literal, listen, the literal yeah. if, meaning. If this sheikh is self-sufficient, meaning sufficient by himself, is he dependent on me? No. You? No. Anyone? No. Good. If Jesus is self-sufficient, sufficient by himself, yeah. is he dependent on the Father? He can't be. No. Right. So now, he doesn't need the Father he's, even to exist. His, di his divine nature is not dependent on the Father. Look, if he is not in need of being dependent on the Father, that means even if the Father did not exist, he would exist. Because that's what it means, being self-sufficient. If the Father didn't exist, Jesus would exist. Do you accept? Yeah, but they're different. So, you're misconstruing the, 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 what, what we believe is the Trinity. I am questioning no, your belief makes sense or not. No, so now, so you in your belief, is it possible that the Son could exist without the Father existing? The Son could exist. No. There you go. The Son is dependent the, on yeah, the Father. But, yeah, but father. Yeah. Case it's closed. It's an, yeah, I leave it to you. Um, Barakallahu to fiqh. He's Barakallah not God fiqh. because he's not self-sufficient. Okay. Okay. Barakallahu fiqh. You see, you see yeah. the thing, the, when the, you what say... What I wanted to clarify... Cla that, clarify it with me. Clarify it with me. Basically, from, if you look at it from um, Trinitarian, uh, Trinitarian's perspective, that in, in a sense the divine, the divine nature is not um, is not dependent because it's um, God. So you got have you, you have God the Father, God the Son. But, but where do you distinct, get where do you get that He is God, Peter? Where do you get it from He's that He is God? God. Uh, give me an, 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 an ambiguous statement from Him where John He said that He is God. John 8, 58. What does it say? He says, "Before Abraham was, I am." Look, what is Ishari and then, A? And, Isha then, and then John 17, he says that you, you shall glorify the Father no. as look, you glorify look, You glorify me as you glorify look, the Father. So you say, I am is God. Is that what you want to say? Yeah. yeah? yeah now, take, now take I am and switch it and put God instead of it. Before Abraham. No, the name what are you going to say? Be, God, before no, Abraham, the, God. What Jews believed as God was Yahweh. That was the name that the Jews believed. That's, that, that, that's it not was Yahweh. a name. Was look, no, the Jews, in, in the Exodus Jews, 3, God, God revealed himself as Yahweh. Look, look, I, look. Am, I am that I am. 
I am that I am. Yeah, and then I am in the next I am verse, it, and in the next verse he says, Tell them you know the them blind to, man tell them I am has sent you. Okay. That's when Moses asked him, well, Who shall I yes, tell them? Who uh, shall I tell them? He yeah. said, I am has sent you. Okay. Now when you go to before Abraham was I am. Yeah? Change 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 I am into Yahweh. What would you say? Sorry? Before Abraham, Yahweh. Before Abraham, Yahweh. Uh, no, no. If you, what I am asking you, yeah. I am, it's, it's allegedly, it's the name of God, isn't it? Yeah, allegedly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Refer to in Genesis, yeah? In Exodus. Okay. In Exodus. Exodus. Okay. Now, when, G, when Moses asks, asked God, said, who shall I say that sent me? He said, I am. Okay, tell them my name is I am. Yeah, all right. Now I want you in John 8:58 to change to change I am into Yahweh, and read the and read the, and read the verse. Before Abraham was Yahweh. Before Abraham was Yahweh. Does it make sense to you? Yes, but it's you're still basically saying Jesus doesn't make sense. What I'm trying no, no, to say no, no, is I'm that Jesus. No, no, I'm saying to you. Yeah, what I'm he, saying to you. Yes, that because the, because it's not he's not saying oh um before Abraham. It's not when you read it. It's not. It's not in the sense that oh, before Abraham was, I am God. It's the sense that because God is being, when he's when the name I am comes. God is a being. No, God is being itself. Ah. God is being itself. So that's why it's I am, not um, not any other random name. That's what I am because it's, it's in the sense of being. It doesn't need to. It doesn't need to yeah, read well. Yeah, but God says well. I am Yahweh. Well. You know how many times Jesus uh, uh, Jesus said I am the life. Yeah, when I am. I am. I. I am yeah, this. Example, I am that. If you go back to Exodus, you can just say you can use the same argument. Oh, it doesn't make sense because he says I am has sent you. Or I am. I am it doesn't make no, it, it doesn't make sense when you read it. Did you know that the blind man said I am? So so is is the blind man God? Yes, but you also have to look at what the, how the Jews reacted. When when the Jews reacted to what he said, they picked up uh, rocks to stone him because they accused him of blasphemy for comparing himself to God. Look, if to say that before Abraham was, I am, you know, everyone else was because God has created everyone at the beginning. Yeah. So so. But basically, what he's saying is when he's saying before Abraham was, I am, he's saying that he had. He, Saying that he existed before Abraham. Now, and, look, that, and then I am also um, a loser. This this verse, this yeah. verse, would not doesn't give you credit to, to prove his de uh, deity. That's one verse that we can use that. Loser, that yeah. Uh, what well, you, you better example, look? It's John, John it's, it's ambiguous. For example, how do you this verse, the Father? How Peter, do you glorify the Father? Peter, allow, yeah, yeah, sorry, let's sorry, allow sorry, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. 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 I asked for. I have to, I have to go soon, by yeah. The way. No, no problem. I have asked for an ambiguous Unambiguous. verse. So yeah. if you're looking for this if one you is ambiguous. Say, if you want Jesus to say, I am God. I am God. I am God. No, 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 no. It doesn't say those I, Just words. I am God. I am God. Just I am God. It doesn't, say that. it doesn't say in Jesus' words. It never says I am God. You know, you know, in the Bible, he was God. called. He was called words. the prophet. He, he, he even himself said, yeah, but there's other, there's "A prophet other is not. A prophet is not uh, welcome in his own uh, town." Yeah, in the um, yeah, in the prophecies. Yeah. Sorry, can I? Take yeah, this? yeah. Take Thank the point. Yeah, Thomas. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave like in five minutes. Oh, what? The train got set on fire. What? At, uh, what station? What? The one we were at. Do you wanna come here and then we'll walk on um, to uh, the uh, Hyde Park corner station? It's a different line, so it won't it will still be on. Uh, yeah, I'll go to Kelsey and then I'll just go to Fesh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I might just. I might just go to um, Kelsey and then have my Fesh. I might just go to Fesh. Yeah, I haven't gone, but. I might see later if there are any other masses here. I'll just go to one day, maybe in Thailand. Yeah, right. All right. All right. If you come, if you come see this corner for me, then I'll just go. We'll go in. We'll go in. All right. Yeah, yeah.
It's okay. Uh, so, like, for example, you, there are other verses that um, would allude to Jesus being God as well. So, like, for example, in John 17, a lot of Muslims will use this. Um, yeah, John 17, 3. Yeah, but then if you read the verses before and after, it's, I mean, it's pretty uh, Well, Have you read the verses before and yes, after? Yes, yes, yes. It says, glorify the... Glorify me as you glorify the Father. But but you know you know in the Old Testament in uh, in the Old Testament uh, you mentioned the verse with the glory I had with you before yeah now in the Old Testament in Isaiah you will see that God says that I share my glory with no one yes because yeah because we yeah, believe in the oneness of God yeah and we I share that's why we believe in the Trinity yeah, but, do you understand where do you understand that's why we but, but you know I can give you so many verses where uh, I can give you a verse right now God is not a man that he can lie yeah yeah but God is not a context, man that, that he can lie if you read that in the context of the verse not of the um, of what he's talking about it's because basically um, uh, what was it numbers well, 19 not? numbers yeah. 23 well, why not? numbers why not? 23 19 it was because basically the um I've forgotten what it was but it would be, when he's saying God is not a man, then you should like it's, it's in Hosea. Talking. I believe it's in Hosea. I think, I think it's Numbers 23 19. But anyway, we go back to. Look, for example, here where he says, When Jesus had spoken, this is John 17. You have to read it for me yeah, because my eyesight is. So it says, this is John 17. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted, his up, he lifted up his eyes to, to heaven and said, Father. So this is why I was asking before, yes. like, can, can Jesus be a Muslim if he calls to be Yeah, but God? Father, but, but to be honest with you, because I didn't finish. Because you know, I've heard Father, some people say that no, God no. is not the Father. Yeah, but, 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 but you know, you know, if you say Father, the, the Father, God used to be, God is the Father, God is the Father for so many. You know, yeah, he said to Jacob, he said to yeah, Jacob, you are my firstborn. Yeah. You are my firstborn. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you understand? First, so, 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 so the question, the term saying, father, yeah. the term father yeah. used by Jesus, it doesn't mean, a lot, even now Christians, they call yeah, God the father. They call God the father. Yeah, the father. The, no, yeah. the, the yeah. father, my father, uh, our, look, yeah, in the, our father, our father, our father yeah, in yeah, heaven, yeah, yeah. our it's father. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, Abina, Abina, uh, Abi, uh, yeah, yeah. Abina, uh, in Aramaic, Abina. Yeah. So, so, oh, Abuna. So, so, so this, this term of our father, it's not just specific for Jesus. It's not just specific for Jesus. And that's a hint, hint, yeah, just, hint it doesn't. Yeah, I understand, I understand, yeah. The, yeah, the reason why we say he is a Muslim, because he submitted his will yeah. to God. You know, when he was, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. I agree with you in the sense that if you look at a ling, from a linguistical um, perspective. Because not just Muslim, from a linguistical because Muslim means to submit one's will to God. And I believe that Jesus did submit his will to God. Yes. So yeah, so in there, yeah, in he there he's a Muslim. Yeah, in that sense, in that sense, I, yeah. I can agree. Yeah, so he but is a Muslim, yeah? Anyway, back to this. Yes, so back. So said, when Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that the son may glorify you. So he's, he's basically saying, yeah. glorify, glorify yes. me as I glorify yes, you. Yes, as I glorify you. Which is... Since you, is, which since you is, have given him authority over all flesh. Yeah, so authority. Who so has, who has authority over all flesh but God? Yeah, f finish, finish yeah. the... To give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God in Jesus Christ, whom, whom you have you sent. Have sent yeah? I, grew, I, don't, I don't disagree that um, yeah. God so, 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 you yeah. know, let, let me just explain. You know in verse number three, yeah. you know, only. Yeah. In Greek, yeah. in Greek, it means monos. monos. Okay. A monos in Greek, you can, see, you can look at yourself, yeah? yeah? I mean, I mean, A monos means exclusivity, Peter, exclusivity. So it does, it's not like only, but uh, see, yeah, only. I understand, I understand yeah. Because it's just like when I see when I see Muslims use that verse, and then I look at the rest of the verses, I just I no, feel but, a bit skeptical. But, but I, 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 I took you I took you to where he says to where he says like yeah. uh, my my glory I share with no one. I'm so sorry. He's calling me again. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. If you have to go, you go. I have to go to. I have to go to it's really it was nice a pleasure meeting. talking really to nice you. Meeting. If you come next week, I'll be here if you have Hopefully. time. I don't think I won't be here next week. I'm on holiday. Okay. But I'll try you enjoy come your after, holidays. So. You're very and nice. No problem, Peter. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nasta'firuka wa natubu ilayk.
السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته